to Kelly Party of Two. Today I am going to show you just another quick holiday dessert, um, Thanksgiving or Christmas, but this one does use pumpkin. Um, so I guess it's a little bit more geared toward Thanksgiving, um, but again, it's really, really simple. Not as simple as the last one, so keep that in mind. So we're just going to start with um, two cans of pumpkin. I like to use the Libby's brand, but you can use whatever, and it's just the pumpkin pie filling, puree, whatever you want to call it. You're just going to put that in a glass bowl. Now, part of the reason we're going to add to this is because the pumpkin is not sweet enough for what we're trying to do. This is two different types of pumpkin, or two different brands, which is why the color is different. So that's why I like Libby's. It's smoother. All right. So we have that. We are going to add one 12 ounce can of evaporated milk. So it doesn't spread, splash on me. We are going to add one and a half cups of sugar. Now you're talking. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna kind of fold this in a little bit while I'm. You want to preheat your oven to 350. We're gonna mix this, so I'm just trying to get it to. All right, now we need four eggs. Trying not to. Chris is a lot better at this. He can do it with one hand. Yes, and Chris knows that you always crack your eggs on a flat surface to keep shells from being busted inside of your egg. And then we're all good. I'm cool. watching. I'm watching. Let me rinse my hands real quick. You can't do a one-hand egg crack? I cannot. Maybe my hands are too small or something. Okay, so now you're gonna do two teaspoons of cinnamon. And you're gonna do two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. That's not gonna go in there, so we're just gonna... Now, if you like more cinnamon, go that route vice versa, that I use equal parts. All right, so we're just gonna mix this real quick. This is where, this is my downfall. I can't run a mixer without getting it everywhere. Let's see how well I do. And you just really want it well, all well blended together. Maybe low is the secret. I don't do low. <laughs> well, especially when you got um, a lot of stuff in there. You don't. You definitely don't want to start on high. You can get there once everything's kind of mixed a little bit. So you're gonna start with. Uh, start with. You're gonna have a nine by thirteen baking dish, and we are going to pour our pumpkin mixture. You need to spray or anything? No. No. This is wet enough, you do not need to spray it. Grab my spatula. I know, it looks like a lot. Okay, now. This is sad. Okay. Now, we used this in the last one. We're gonna throw in some caramel bits. Now this will kinda Tone down your pumpkin flavoring, but this will also get, these will kind of sink a little bit, so. I'm a huge fan of caramel bits. <laughs> now you can also do this if you don't, if you're not a fan of caramel, you can actually substitute white chocolate chips mm. as well, or you can put them both um, just to kind of give it a different flavor here and there. All right, so we're going to take a yellow cake mix. I used the Butter Golden like I did last time. And I'm going to as easily and evenly as I can. So again, it's a little bit more involved than the, than the caramel apple. Um, just because you have to mix some ingredients, but it's definitely 
Still seems not rocket easy. science. Yeah. All right. So last step, as you all know, is melted butter, or you can do what we're gonna do this time. And we're gonna do two sticks of butter or one cup. You can melt it. There is no right or wrong way. But I think for this recipe, it gives the top a little bit more of that crumble than if you were to just melt it. All right, so we're gonna bake this at, like I said, 350. Um, the oven has been preheating and you're gonna bake it for an hour. Hey guys, so we're back. Um, it baked right at an hour. This is the golden color that you want. Um, yes, I know I'm holding this, but we've let it sit for about 30 minutes um, just to, to cool the pan. You wanna serve it warm. Um, I think it's better that way get us both out of the plate. It's not gonna come out like a bar or anything like that. How would that be with some ice cream? Oh, well, you are definitely gonna want ice cream on yours, for sure. But yes, ice cream is always a good addition. Smells like pumpkin. I don't know why I'm giving him more, because I'm not really sure he's gonna like this. Yeah, do I'm you not want... sure, so. I don't think we have any ice cream, do we? I don't think so. Okay. So, you hold yours up and take a bite. Oh. And then we'll switch places. Okay. But you don't like pumpkin. I'm kind of nervous about what you're going to think. Now you can kind of see in here the caramel bits that kind of... Still hot. Still afraid it's hot. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Yep. This is it, guys. This is it. She's saying that's it. Am I going to like it? I don't know. It's, it's not, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. We'll just do this right here. Okay. You want me to feed you? Yes. <laughs> okay, hang on. I should have just given we'll you see. a bite of mine. You want to blow on it? I don't want it to be too hot. Huh? You don't like it? It's still too pumpkin-y. Right. Still too pumpkin-y, but I love everything else. <laughs> you like the crispy top? Everything the else, yes. Everything and else you, is and good. you get the caramel? Yes. I think it's really good. I think if you like pumpkin, I, yeah. th I think you'll really like it. You this. will love this if you like yeah. anything pumpkin. Because I loved <laughs> everything else but the pumpkin. Here, so. this bite. It's got more caramel in it. Maybe we just need to make it for you with two bags of caramel bits. Oh, that yeah. Is better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see. When you get a little bit more of that caramel bit in there, mm. it, it really makes the difference. And it tones that pumpkin down. That's don't really think? Good. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. Okay. I can do that. Okay. She's going to finish it. I don't know if I'm going to finish it, but um, I think this is really simple. Again, it's not as simple as the other recipe that I showed you, but I have another one coming soon that is um, a pie. So, so basically, stay tuned. we've got you covered for all your yes, Thanksgiving your, desserts. Yeah, all you're, holiday. You're Christmas. welcome. Christmas as well. Um, but like, subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Let me know if you try this or if you're going to try it.